Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us. Uh, it is a pleasure to be with you. My name is Stanisław Krzyżanowski. Uh, with me is my colleague, Michał Belicki. We are working at the Business Development Department at here at Cloudfero. And today we want to talk to you about uh, how you can use CreoDias for uh, scientific, scientific activities. So let's start. I will start with a short introduction to CreoDias. I suppose that majority of you uh, knows uh, what CreoDias is, is, is somewhat familiar with the platform, but I will spend a couple minutes to introduce the rest. Next, I want to describe data and tools that are, in our opinion, useful to scientific communities. So I will try to uh, bring you, bring to the table the best what we offer to scientific communities to help them develop their uh, research and applications. Uh, I will finish my part with uh, with an inspiration. I hope I have a couple of examples uh, of what can be done with CreoDias in terms of scientific research. Uh, then I will pass hand over uh, the lecture to my colleague who will give you an insight uh, into the funding opportunities that we have recognized and want to uh, pass to you. So let's, uh, let's start with the Korea Dias. Korea Dias is one of the diases. Dias uh, means Copernicus Data and Information Access. It is a big data cloud platform for uh, Earth observation data discovery, storing, downloading, and processing, equipped with set of uh, technologies and tools that allow our, our users to do it. For the uh, scientific communities, uh, we, have, we believe that we have identified a number of challenges that uh, members of the scientific community face when it comes to Working, working with the Earth observation data. The first of those challenges is access to the data itself. Uh, commonly, access is not easy. It uh, requires resources, networking, time, computing, and so on. And uh, CreoDias and our tools that we will show in a minute uh, come forward to face this to face this challenge to make it easier for scientists. But even having the platform, the environment working, we know that for some of you, for some of some scientific, more scientific users, uh, first contact with uh, such uh, a complex platform might be overwhelming. So uh, we want to th those webinars and what we do is aimed at uh, guiding you and making it easier for you to utilize at least parts of the platform so you can boost, you can enhance your capabilities uh, during your research. So let's start with data. To what data users of CreoDS have access? So, and to what data you can have access when you, when you pursue your uh, scientific goals? Uh, the core set of collections available in the CreoDias are collections from the Sentinel satellite family. Those are Sentinel, Sentinels 1, Sentinels 2, 3, and uh, Sentinel 5P. Uh, this table, I, I will not describe in detail that table. Uh, it depicts uh, what data types from each collections are available and how they are, are available. Uh, full. I will just describe you what does it mean. Full archive means that uh, whole collection, the coverage of the whole globe, globe, is available locally within the Earth Observation Data Repository of the platform. Uh, when we are signifying that something is orderable or cached, that means that to access that data, you have to uh, perform a query, an order, and that data will be ready uh, in a later date because it's either have to be downloaded from the long-term archives 
are it has to be processed as in a dedicated fashion especially for you so i told you about those sentinels uh i've mentioned the sentinel 5p additionally we host the landsat 5 7 and 8 data as you know uh, only the, the landsat 8 is still operational so we collect uh, up-to-date data for for your use. Additionally, we have collections from NVSAT and SMOS. Those are two no longer, oh no, sorry, SMOS is operational, NVSAT Maris is not operational. They're also available uh, for your use. Uh, to complement that data, uh, four out of six Copernicus services data sets are available uh, on the Creodias. Those are listed here. Uh, additionally, with the digital eleva elevation maps of different sorts, uh, the main DEM that is being used is the Copernicus DEM and the SRTM. Uh, we have a couple others as well. Recently, we have added uh, the option, the possibility of uh, ordering purchasing and ordering and downloading the very high resolution data. So the CreoDIAS users are able to select an area of interest and purchase VHR data from those free uh, operators. We are uh, autom automatizing that process. So that's the data you can work with. As you can see, uh, it's a much wider variety than what you what you can commonly get from uh, from simple data hubs. So that's one of uh, of advantages of using Creodias for uh, those scientific activities that you have all the data within. Next advantage is that we offer you ready to use tools that will help you and will accelerate the process you're going through. Uh, those applications that are depicted here are the main applications when it comes to interaction with the CreoDIAS platform. For you, probably the most important would be the CreoDIAS Finder, the Earth Observation Finder, the Cloud Dashboard, and the Jupyter Notebook. Uh, I will uh, focus on Next, I will focus on the Finder and the Jupyter Notebook, but I would like to mention that uh, uh, the, main, uh, the main application that is being used uh, within the platform to manage cloud resources is the Cloud Dashboard. But we know that for uh, people with more of a scientific uh, Earth observation or remote sensing focused background, going into the uh, let's say IT cloud cloud resources might be a bit challenging. It might be a bit overwhelming and tricky. So we have prepared those graphical applications such as Finder and the Jupyter Notebook. So you don't have to initially at, at the very first glance, you don't have to set up your own processing environment. You don't have to um, prepare a data selection algorithm uh, on your own because Within the CreoDIAS, we have the Finder. That is uh, an application with graphical interface and the uh, API, so programmatic inter interface, that is designed to help you browse, discover, and download the data. And uh, of course, uh, order, order uh, either data from the uh, long-term archive or order data processing from a set of ready-to-go processors that we have prepared for you. Um, so that's the, that's the finder, that's your data access point, uh, that, that allows you to, to work with the data. Uh, the next application I would like to talk about is the Jupyter Notebook. I suppose majority of you is familiar with the concept of notebooks. Uh, in case of the CreoDIAS, it is a free, free of charge prototyping tool in order to access it you just have to uh, register an account and log into your account. Uh, it's a single single account for every application within the uh, environment. So you would use the same account for uh, 
the Earth Observation Finder, you would and the Jupyter Notebook, and for the uh, Cloud Dashboard, the application for research resource management as well. Uh, so it's free of charge. It's accessible for all to all registered users. It's a ready to go uh, online inter interactive processing environment with what is very, very important to our user, users, direct access to the whole Earth Observation Data Repository, which is currently holding more than, uh, I think we have reached the 20 petabytes of data threshold. So as you can see, it's a simple yet very powerful tool to interact with the data to set up your processing. Uh, in the next step, I want I will show you an example of uh, of such processing. So, for uh, for scientific users, what I will come back for a minute to the applications for for scientific users for those who are who have a expertise within the field of uh, remote sensing and uh, observation data processing, but are not might not be as uh, well experienced with uh, in the cloud and uh, administration fields. We have Creadias Portal, the uh, all out information and data hub. Then we have the your browser, browser, very simple application for uh, visualization of data. The finder I have described, that's your entry point to interact with the data, to discover the data. You can do it uh, graphically, you can do it using the API. Uh, with, the API is based on the uh, REST API, which is a open search te technology. But it's quite typical, it's quite uh, uh, easy, easy to use. So it, it makes interacting with the data quite straightforward. Uh, you have also the cloud dashboard for which is a more advanced tool for setting up processing environments within the cloud itself it's a the setting up an environment is a uh, means purchasing a product such as virtual machine on or object storage uh, for free of charge processing we offer you Jupyter notebook which is a prototyping tool it's well versed it's uh, it has access to the Earth observation data. Additionally, within the CreateIS platform, we have a whole set of third-party applications. I would like to mention uh, just one at, at this moment. Uh, we have we offer you access to the WMS server configurator uh, hosted by us. Uh, it's a it's a synergized technology that allows you to generate uh, WMS data on demand within a uh, given configuration you have you have specified. So those are the tools that we offer you. Uh, those are the tools that we feel that uh, make interaction with the data and processing the data easier. So those tools should, we hope, uh, give you more opportunities to perform your research of choice. And now I would like to give you two examples of data processing that has been performed within the CreoDIAS infrastructure. The first example is the urban heat area analysis. It has, it has been performed by scientists from the uh, Warsaw Technical University uh, with cooperation with us. It has been done using sol solely the uh, CreoDIAS Jupyter Notebook. Uh, it's a an analysis of uh, localized heat, heat areas in urban environments. Uh, the input data that was required were, was coming from the Landsat 5, 7 and 8. Additionally, uh, for that research, uh, plot boundaries registry was uh, uploaded, uploaded as well. And it gives you an example what can be done with the platform and with the data because this uh, this research produces very viable and vital and useful information about the growth and changes of the urban heat islands that can be used in the uh, decision making 
in the decision making of uh, entities governing for set, let's say, city or set of cities. So that gives you an uh, quite uh, good good insight what can be done. The other one, the next example is the S two GLC. It's a land cover classification prepared and performed by the uh, Center for Space Research uh, from Warsaw with co with cooperation with Crea Dias. Uh, it has resulted with a data collection that is a uh, land cover classification from ho for ho whole Europe uh, based on the Sentinel-2 data from the year 2017 and that's and that's another opportunity for you. The results of that research has been incorpor incorporated into the uh, Creodias's Earth Observation Data Repository. It's made it's uh, it's available from the uh, in the Earth Observa Observation Finder and the Earth Observation Browser. So the data that, that has been produced during the during the research has been integrated into the platform and made the part of, of the platform. So our cooperation enhanced both researchers' capabilities to perform the research because uh, uh, of the resources and access to the Sentinel-2 data and our as the platform capabilities and uh, to help our users because now everyone has access to that data collection and can build upon it. So I, I see it as a great example of opportunities that can be that can be pursued uh, in cooperation with our dias uh, now i would like to hand over to to my colleague who will talk to you about the funding opportunities uh, so miho mm -hmm. please do okay so thank you stanislav uh, for for the presentation and i want my name is miho and i want to tell you something more about this funding opportunities uh, um, find funding opportunities on um, uh, career dias um, because um, as you as we understand you as a scientific uh, institute or institutions may uh, have um, some uh, many br br brilliant idea that could make use of uh, of our uh, infrastructure and uh, our uh, facility but um, there is always a problem how to uh, finance your uh, your project so we have identified for you today um, three main uh, three main uh, main projects uh, related to Earth observation topic and uh, more general cloud computing uh, for your project. One is Ogri project. Um, second is network of resources provided by uh, ESA, so European, European Space Agency. A third uh, is some uh, internal, internal cloud feral, um policy for supporting uh, uh, scientific uh, projects. Okay. So uh, let me start from this uh, OCRI um, initiative. It's open cloud for research environment, and uh, the aim of this um, of this call is uh, to provide the um, institutions, research environment, uh, and education institutions uh, with. Um, with um, processing uh, cloud processing capabilities, um, basically the idea is to move the projects that are not currently exploiting much the uh, cloud uh, resources um, to propose the, to offer them fund funding for cloud infrastructure, and there are currently two uh, paths. Uh, they are uh, being uh, organized parallel, parallel. So one is um, Okra Cloud for uh, research, uh, cloud funding for research. And this is basically for any infrastructure as a service uh, or platform as a service um, fundings related to uh, research topics. And the second one, um, I would like to focus on uh, in this uh, uh, in this presentation is um, Okra funding for Earth observation services. 
So it's basically everything that is available on CryoDias is, is strongly related to Earth Observation Services. But uh, cloud, fire, cloud uh, resources are as well um, appropriate in this, uh, in this case. Okay. So, um, as I already mentioned, this uh, funding uh, is, um, the, is directed to research and education uh, community uh, from Europe. So it's uh, 39 uh, countries in this uh, uh, in this uh, call. Mm, the 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 only limitation is that you need to um, access. You need to be a member of uh, an RAN um, organization, um, and this is and this is founded founded in three three ways. Why three is for individual researchers, second is for projects, uh, research projects and individual institutions, and third is for the consortium of institutions. So, um, in, and I'll tell you later how it's, uh, it, it depends. Some, some calls are for wave one, some is for wave two and three. We'll have a look at this later on, okay. Mm. And uh, I would like to focus on this Earth observation call since uh, the first Earth observation call is already um, open and uh, it's uh, it's going to be closed on 30th November, so more, less than two weeks uh, from now, not much time left. But on the other hand, um, the, the, this call um, focus on individual on wave two and three, so individual institutes and the consortium of institutes. Um, and the, the the target of this uh, call is to um, the, the projects that are in, involved in this call need to consume Earth observation uh, data in some uh, way. Mm. And uh, now on, since the project is uh, call for project is open, uh, you don't need to specify which provider uh, will um, will provide your services um, you can choose it later on now you need to well define the objective of your project the way it's going to be uh, performed and uh, and and uh, you need to you know fulfill the form in the appropriate way and uh, the uh, the provider of this, the services Will be will be um, will be chosen for the to to fulfill your needs. So you need you don't need at this stage to choose the exact uh, provider of let's say uh, data or uh, cloud uh, platform or or you you don't need to define the the exact the exact uh, needs for your project. You just need to um, present uh, what's your idea. And uh, how you going to uh, perform this idea, and uh, and the, the uh, important from the organizer organizer point of view is uh, that your project needs to create a nice output that can be used by Okri as a showcase that they that your project is uh, that the project that they're financing is uh, in, in in fact leveraging the the science uh, scientific uh, uh, needs um, the the funding tires are between 50000 i mean it depends on the wave but it's up to 100000 euro um, depending on the needs but it's not uh, it's not strict limit so in case you have some brilliant idea that exceeds the needs you can also apply and Perhaps they can also um, they can also take it into account. What's in, what it's important? This funding covers your uh, processing needs or your, for instance, data needs or application needs. But it it cannot cover your uh, project's person hours. So basically, this funding does not allow you to to finance entire project. It's more like you have the idea or the project uh, that is, um, for instance, not in cloud or not 
using um, or can leverage from additional data and you want to leverage this project with additional fi 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 financing for for um, platform services or additional application services so you can either receive um, cloud computing for your processing or spe specialized data, data including let's say very high resolution data or um, or storage for um, for or server for your application at the end of the project or storage for dissemination of your results so th there is many possibilities how to uh, how to mm -hmm, how to receive this funding uh, how to how to leverage from this call um, application is uh, available online here i uh, include the project uh, web page and uh, what is important uh, from uh, in, i received information from the organizers they are able in case you have some idea and you need some support in in uh, in preparing the the project they are able to to let's say organize a call directly with you to 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 uh, to, to maybe help you prepare the i mean help you um, prepare to the project call of course it's uh, they won't do it for you so um, so there's still some job to do but uh, from our point of view the the the, the application seems quite uh, quite easy and uh, and uh, user friendly and i also included here the table from the organizers where what's the time frame so the first eo call is already open and it's ending 30 november um but the following calls for both EO um, projects and uh, IIAS projects, infrastructure as a service projects, will be available in February and uh, in uh, July. Mm. Okay, the other funding opportunities I would like to introduce to you is the network of resources organized by ESA. Mm. The, so, in principle, uh, it's uh, dedicated to any user that needs uh, resources uh, for reser research or um, um, research project, but uh, it's important that the projects cannot uh, be, at this stage, cannot be um, commercial. So, so it's, you cannot finance your, uh, the project that will uh, generate generate uh, the exit revenue for you, but it's you can uh, it can be at the stage that it's it's promising to to develop your uh, your project in some um, at some point to to commercial level. Um, this is uh, available as well for research institution as for private companies. Um, there there are some constraints still. Mm, so for now, uh, as far as, as far as uh, uh, at this stage, um, these projects needs to be supported by ISA officers. So it it has to be somehow uh, um, already supported by ISA. Mm, the, pro the such uh, projects can receive sponsoring for up to twelve months. And after this period, the uh, user should um, should be able to find found these uh, resources by himself. Mm. And the systematic processing can only be funded um, if the data set remains available free of charge later on. Mm. Okay. The, also, one one uh, additional information is that sponsoring of fixed allocated processing resources can be also can be accepted only if it's uh, demonstrated that it needs the resources twenty four seven. So, so the, you need to justify the uh, the need for cloud uh, based provide pro the services. Okay. And um, here are some useful link for um, for the um, where you can find more information on that on the project. So first is ISA site on EO4 Society. 
uh, with information how to access the, how to access the data and so on. And second one is in the portal of the Nor Point Claudio Group. So it's Claudio company which is uh, responsible for managing uh, of this uh, of this network of resources uh, and um, distribution of uh, resources. And then there you can see. All the uh, all the service providers that the provide are providing the services through the uh, NOR framework, um, and uh, I will I want also to introduce that uh, next month we are um, together with Claudia want to prepare uh, the webinar on the on the NOR services. So uh, stay tuned. Um, <laughs> we want to present you more on this topic next month. Mm, okay, and finally, how you can um, how we can uh, how you can um, be supported by uh, Cloudfero in case you don't have um, you you you're, you don't want to or you don't have uh, the project that can be supported via Okri or or NOR uh, network of resources. Uh, first of all, by design, we offer 18.5 percent discount for scientific institutions. And this is uh, pretty straightforward. You say I have got a scientific project. Uh, can you can you apply a discount for us? And we we usually agree for uh, for for this uh, discount to scientific projects. And the um, um, the second option is uh, that uh, in case you have um, idea of some project that could use Earth observation data, but you need financing or you need uh, some, you are looking for a partner to um, to make a consortium and, uh, and um, let's say commercialize the results, or you have a project that already has the results, but you need uh, support in dissemination. You can always contact us and uh, we, we will we'll think of some kind of uh, on, on some kind of a cooperation that would help you and us to leverage the um, so for you to disseminate the results maybe and and maybe leverage your uh, processing uh, capabilities but on the other hand for us to um, to um, enrich our offering and maybe uh, and maybe in, uh, involve our um business uh, um, opportunities and prepare for other business opportunities also we are very happy to um to participate in uh, some procurements that are currently being being um performed so if you need cloud provider to to help you in um, commercial part of um, of uh, some procurement just contact us and we will see if there is possibility to 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 cooperate okay this is uh, from uh, my side on this commercial ideas mm. okay thank you thank you Michal for giving us insight into the uh, funding opportunities that can be leveraged leveraged to purchase resources within the Creo Dias. Uh, now we would like to give the floor to you if you have any questions it's a good time to ask them uh, in the chat. We'll do our best to answer. If you want to know more about uh, either the platform, the capabilities of it, or about the funding, uh, please ask now. We'll give you 30 seconds to think about those questions if they, if they, are, if they are coming up. Okay, okay. We have a question uh, from Ms. Agata Hoshiro. Uh, the question, I will read it out loud. The question is, is it possible to apply for OCRA funds for the ongoing research project? Niko, I think this question uh, is for you. Yes, so uh, according to, the, to, 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 to our knowledge, yes, it's possible. Um, the, the, only thing, on, the only thing you need to demonstrate is that uh, the the cloud resources uh, will leverage your project in a way that uh, um, I mean otherwise would not be possible. 
So, but it's, uh, it's uh, I mean, I mean the, very, the easy easy answer is yes. I mean, it's, this is the by design created for the project that are already existing, but uh, will somehow leverage from uh, cloud resources. Mm. Okay. Right. I mean, I mean, maybe they they might be some details uh, that need to be investigated. So, in case we can discuss it also later on, if you need. Uh, I mean, but the best uh, the best would be honestly to, if you have doubts after looking at the web page of the organizers, you can always email them, um, and they will uh, for sure um, clarify this. They are very responsive in time in in terms of time response so so this is i think the best idea but my 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 knowledge is that it's possible thank you michael uh there is a next question uh is creodias open to any researcher including non-european well uh the answer is yes creodias is a platform that is open to anyone and everyone and everywhere and everywhere yes yeah. <laughs> that's the that's the nature of uh, the digital age uh, but i would like to elaborate on it uh, first of all the data the majority of data that uh, that consists of the earth observation data repository within the creo dias is an free and open data under the uh within the Copernicus program. The license for the data is free and open, so it's fr freely available. It's not it's not restricted in any way other than uh, technological restraints that we are uh, uh, that we are coming over. So uh, the Creodias platform and the data is uh, free and open to everyone. Uh, majority of the of the tools require registration. Uh, some of the tools are free of charge, those I, I've mentioned today. The other tools are and resources are uh, charged in different modes of uh, funding for them Miho has described. I hope that uh, answers your question. We have uh, one more question. Um, Thanks for presentation of Creodias. Through the Air Finder, you can order only data uh, younger than six months. Does this data also apply to the Jupyter Notebook API? Um, well, I'm not sure if I understand if I will understand the question correctly, but I'll do my best to answer. So, uh, it depends. My under my understanding of the question is: uh, Are you able to? order the same data through the Jupyter Notebook as you would for the uh, for the Earth Observation Finder. I hope I'm correct. I mean, I think the first so, the first issue is whether the EO Finder, you can order data only lo below six months. I think it's, uh, okay. it's not okay. necessarily uh, I, like I this. got it. So, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Schultz and everyone, uh, the accessible data data from the Jupyter Creodias Jupyter Notebook are the data sets that are available locally. However, with the Jupyter Notebook, you can, for example, perform a query that will order the data using the, uh, the EO Finder API. So through the notebook, using the notebook, you ask, let's say, ask the finder or order the data processing or download uh, from the finder. So those those tools work in a single environment. They're somewhat interconnected. You can uh, interact with uh, with the finder using the Jupyter, but uh, uh, normally only the local data are available uh, from the Jupyter notebook level. Yes, but I think it's also worth to clarify that not uh... Not only data. I mean, it depends on the collection whether on the the time time frame in which the collection is available depends on the collection. Not it's not by default that the data oh, are yeah. six months available yeah, yeah, because for some collection, let's say for some Sentinel One data or Sentinel Five P or so on, we but have the the collection for an entire yeah. period. Bottom line, bottom line is it depends on the data type and data collection. Uh, is it available locally, uh, yes. and what uh, 
what coverage is available locally. Majority of the data is available locally, so it can be accessed from the Jupyter Notebook, for example. Uh, some of the data types, especially higher level levels of processing, are not available locally. They're, for example, available to be ordered or they are being cached, so they might be available, but doesn't have to be. Uh, are there any other questions? Thank you for attending our webinar. Thank you for joining us. Uh, we hope that it was uh, informative and we would like to invite you for to the next webinars and uh, we would like to invite you to follow us on our uh, uh, in our social media and check out our website uh, if you would like to know more feel free to contact me and miho uh, under our email addresses we will gladly uh, follow up any topics and any ideas that may have come up during this session uh, thank you and goodbye thank you